So I've been cruising the Kubota MX Series Facebook page for a pretty good while since I've gotten my MX5400. I got it, uh, let's see, oh, I've made four payments on it so far, so I've had it about four and a half, five months. Um, it's an open station. And I've seen a bunch of people post really cool grill guards that they've had made. And uh, one of the ones I've been seeing a lot of are made from a guy named Dawson Harris. And I contacted him about getting a grill made for my 5400. And it came in the mail today. Came in the UPS today. I haven't opened it yet. I'm fixing to open it up. I'm fixing to do an unboxing. Um, he was an awesome guy to deal with. Um, I wanted something a little bit different, which is, you know, I, everybody else, I see different logos and names and stuff like that put on their grill guards. And uh, my last name starts with an H. It's me and my wife and my two kids. And I came up with a logo for our farm and it's 4-H Farms. Um, it's kind of ironic that I'm wearing a 4-H shirt. I'm a shotgun instructor for our county down here in South Mississippi. But um, so I came up with this logo and I sent it to Dawson. Dawson said that wouldn't be no trouble. And coming to find out, he's from Hernando, Mississippi, which is still several hours north of me, but I'm in uh, Summit, Mississippi and Southwest Mississippi. I hope this wind doesn't affect things. It is some kind of windy today. We got a front coming in tonight. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. Um, but I sent him the logo and he worked it up on his computer and sent it back to me. And I was kind of, and I told him, I said, take my money, you know, cause it, just, it looked really good. And um, so we are fixing to see if it looks as good in real life as it did in the uh, drawing that he sent me. And he was really, he was really cool to deal with. Um, he sent me a video as it was being, it had just finished being cut. I guess it was a water jet that cut it. Um, he sent me a video of, you know, it being bare steel and I had it powder coated orange so it matched the tractor. And the only thing I'm gonna have to do, my tractor's at my farm right now. Um, I've been raking fire lanes around some planted pines that I'm gonna burn. Well, I was gonna burn this week, but now it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain all next week. So as soon as it quits raining, I'm gonna burn. See what this looks like. Y'all be the first ones to see it. 4-H Farms, Kubota. That's really, really well done, y'all. Got mounting tabs. The only thing I'm gonna have to do is drill four holes in my grill guard or grill frame around the front of the grill and uh, bolt her up. I've had two instances where I've had a stick, if you can picture this being the front of the tractor, I've had a stick go between the little guard that they put on it from the factory and the side of the grill and the headlight. I've been lucky that it didn't poke a hole in the grill or bust out my headlight or in the radiator, but um, that's why I got to looking into these and this insurance. I mean, it's a little expensive, but it's a whole lot cheaper than replacing a headlight assembly or a grill or a radiator or whatever. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to getting this thing installed. This video is probably going to take, it might take, four or five days to put together because I'm I'll be on duty tomorrow at the fire department and then going out of town for the weekend so it might be end of the weekend first next week before I get around to putting it on the tractor but I'm going to try to do a uh, mounting video as well to show how it goes together I know 
I know I'm going to need some clamps, Sharpie marker and drill, and I'm probably going to use stainless bolts, washers, and nuts. But y'all, this is cool. I'm really, really, really excited and pleased with the way this turned out. We'll see you when we go to put it on the tractor. So, so far it's been fairly straightforward. Um, I'm about the same spacing up top and on the bottom. All I got left is this last clamp. I think I'm gonna put it down low. Actually, I think, I think I'm going to use this clamp down here. I think it'll tighten up better. That's much better. Yep. Now all I gotta do is mark my holes and drill it. That's where I'm headed next. four all right I got all the other ones tightened. Going for the last one right here. Whoop. Went the wrong way. I like it. Let's see here. Take that now. That's done. That's done. I like that. Little insurance. Really, if y'all need uh, y'all need a grill guard for your MX, he'll probably do. I know he does it for some L's. Um, look up Dawson Harris, Kubota MX series Facebook page, or. You can find him on Facebook at Tate Metal. Um, shoot him a message, tell him what you want. He can hook you up. You know, like I said, I put my own logo in there for 4-H Farms. 
and uh, fairly straightforward installation. Four holes to drill, a couple of clamps. I don't know that I could be any more satisfied. Um, glad y'all stuck around this long to watch the video. Uh, like and subscribe, and y'all have a great day.